Well, hey, good morning, fish heads. Even though it might not be morning when you guys are watching, welcome, welcome, and thank you for the view. Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates, and I've got some tips and tricks today. I'm in the middle of a 10-piece foil darter project, which is really cool. I've got base layers on, and then I did something different. Because it's going to be a foiled project, now, just to qualify, I am not a professional foiler by nature. I don't have the hot stamp pressing. I don't do any of that. I do occasionally get calls to, like for this order, get some foil together. And you can make it look really cool, trick it out. You, I'm going to be demonstrating on one, and I'm going to show you one that I've got that's already finished up. But there's a couple of different methods that I employ. As long as you have some tackiness on the bait, and I've used Loctite um, in prior sessions where you spray on the Loctite, you let it kind of get tacky and dry, and then you apply the foil. That's so messy. Um, I'm going to do something that's a lot less messy now. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of comments. I'm sure you guys have lots of different methods of doing this. I'm just going to show you what works for me. So if it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you, my apologies. But this is how I do it. Now this, you can get on Lore Parts online. I'll eat, there's the, uh, there's the number. There's actually three that they produce. This is my second favorite. I'm out of the first favorite that they put out. We're not going to use that today. Nor are we going to use this... This is a roll sheeting, real super thin, but it's on, a, it's on a sheet that you kind of press and you have to have tackiness. But this way is actually my favorite way and it involves loose flake foil. And you can get loose flake foil, say that five times fast with me, in a manner of different colors. I really like the multicolor, if you guys can see that on camera. Um, awesome, awesome stuff for like goldfish. And you can pick it up at a nail salon. You can pick it, some of the stuff you can pick up at Walmart. This stuff came from, I want to say, either Amazon, more than likely Amazon, or it came from AliExpress, one of those two. But this stuff is really good. It's super thin, and it adheres to baits under the following circumstances. So just to show you how thin this is, I'm going to pick it up with tweezers. And it just, it literally just falls apart, which is awesome. It adds a certain amount of texture. And if you apply it correctly, it's going to add a lot of pop randomly to your bait. And it would be the same principle if you were applying this to nails. Now, I know a lot of you guys are dudes out there. You're not females. And you're not really necessarily paying attention to how people get their nails done. But... If you watch videos on how to do this for nails, especially for the UV users. Now, I'm not a UV um, epoxy sealer or a clear coat person. Obviously, you guys know that I use KBS. But they do a gel coat on the area, and then they let it get tacky for about 60 seconds or a couple of minutes under UV lighting, and then they apply this foil. The same principle applies if you're a KBS user or if you're an epoxy user. You can add this to your surface once you have a soft clear coat formation. What do I mean by that? So this bait and the others that are just like it have gotten their base layers, a lot of pearl, and then a clear coat. You can see that that's really shiny because I've clear coated this already and I let it dry for about six hours. Now, I can touch it, I can pick it up, it's not gonna make any fingerprint imprints. You can probably, you could probably effectively let this go for about 12 hours, um, but six to eight is fine. And then once you have that soft, somewhat unformed, it's not cured yet, it's, you can touch it, there's nothing wrong with that, you can apply randomly, and it's not gonna fall off, your nail foil flake directly to this bait and it doesn't have to be in patterns you're really not going to be able to get a pattern with this stuff simply because you're putting it on as random pieces of flake but if you look at various bait fish in nature you can see how this looks and how easily it tears 
Um, when you apply this stuff, and just for example, I'm going to do this full sheet on this side. It sticks right. Look at that. Look at that, folks. And it's so easy. Now, there are a couple of do's and don'ts to this because you're going to be adding a couple of things to get this to stay put. So once I have whatever kind of foil I need, I'm going to run a very light transparent pearl, just enough to get this a little tackier, and then I'm immediately going to heat set this again. Let me say that again. Once I have the desired amount of foil on this bait, with it being a little tacky, we'll do this side again. Once I have that, then immediately I'm going to take it and I'm going to spray at a very low PSI a light almost a clear like that opaque pearl additive is good from Comart or if you reduce a pearl white because you don't want to lose the pop of the foil on this bait but you definitely want to get it to adhere and completely do not blow this off the bait you will if you run anything other than like 10 to 15, 15 max, but just barely pull that trigger back. But you can see, I can stick this on with absolutely zero difficulty. Then we're going to add that little bit of pearl additive, and then we're going to heat set that. Once that's heat set, you guys can go ahead and paint whatever patterns you need to paint over your foiling. And then clear coat is normal and it's going to turn out fantastic. And that is your Jekyll Bates tips and tricks for the day. You guys take care. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.